yeah good afternoon to all so today's portions we are going to start now we are starting the fifth module today so this is nothing but the next plot so we are going to study the next plot today and what is next stability criterion so as you can see here the nick is stability criterion so you should a little constate this portion to understand so the nick is stability criterion relates the location of the roots of the characteristic characteristic equation to the operable frequency response of the system it relates the location of the roots of the characteristic equation to the operable frequency response roots and frequency response in this the computation of closed loop poles is not necessary to determine the it is in this for in the next plot the computation of closed loop poles is not necessary to determine the stability of the system and the stability study can be carry it out graphically from the open loop frequency response so the stability study can be in this case the stability stability study can be carried out graphically from the open loop frequency response on the open loop frequency first you can find the stability there is no need to find the compute the closed loop poles therefore experimentally determined open loop frequency response can be used directly for the study of study, um, stability when the feedback path is closed so here experimentally determined open loop frequency response can be used directly for the study of stability when the feedback path is closed now the nikus criterion has the following features that make it an alternative method that is attractive for the analysis and design of control systems first one is in addition to providing the information on absolute and relative stabilities of the system it can also indicate the degree of instability of an unstable system degree of instability of an unstable system it also gives indication on how the system stability may be improved how we can improve the system stability it gives an indications if needed now the nikis plot of g of s into h of s is very easy to obtain especially with the aid of a computer the nikis plot of g of s h of s h of s gives information on the frequency domain characteristics such as mr resonant peak wr resonance frequency bandwidth and other with the ec the nikis plot is useful for system with a pure time delay that cannot be treated with the root criterion and is difficult to analyze us with the root locus method so now we will see the stability problem so here what the students are, uh, you should do is you should concentrate try to understand what i am explaining stability problem the nikis criterion represents a method of determining the location of the characteristic equation roots with respect to the left half and right half of the s plane and like the root locus method so what uh, nick uh, criterion um, what it uh, what what exactly happening in the nick nick criterion so in nick criterion represents a method of determining the location of the characteristic equation roots with respect to the 
left half and right half of the S plane. Okay, so unlike the root locus method, the nucleus criterion does not give the exact location of the characteristic equation roots here. It won't give the exact location of the characteristic uh, equation roots. The Nikus stability criterion is based on the theorem of complex variable due to Cauchy, commonly known as the principle of argument. So here, Nikus stability criterion is based on a theorem of complex variables due to Cauchy, commonly known as the principle of arguments. Now stability condition. We define two types of stability with respect to the system configurations. So the one is open stability. The system is said to be open loop stable if the poles of the loop transfer function g of s into h of s are all in the left half of the s plane. So if the, all the poles are on the left half of s plane uh, then whose pole the op, um, the loop transfer function that is g of s into h of s whose poles are all resides on the left half of s plane then we can say that it is open loop stable for a single loop system this is equivalent to a system being stable when the loop is open at any point now closed loop stability a system is said to be closed to loop stable or simply stable if the poles of the closed loop transfer function the poles of the closed loop transfer functions um, that is you know that how we are finding the closed loop transfer function that is um, if it is um, uh, if it is a feedback system then one plus g of us yeah so you take a simple uh, feedback system then you can find the transfer function c of s by r of us that is uh, nothing but g of us divided by one plus g of us into h of us so the system is said to be a closed loop stable or simply stable if the poles of the closed loop transfer function that is the zeros of 1 plus g of s into h of s poles means you know that the transfer function is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s poles means the denominator term and zero means yeah that means the poles of the uh, closed loop transfer function that is the zeros of 1 plus g of s into h of s both are same uh, you should understand what is the difference okay so i can explain it in this way console area yes so I'm, 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 I'm writing here you just see that so C of us divided by R of us is equal to G of us divided by 1 plus G of us into H of us I'll explain the next video.